this is Elle McFarland. I am coming to you with my week one stats. I am going to pop in a clip right here of my weigh-in this morning showing you what uh, my weight was uh, today. Okay, this is my first weigh-in after a full week of Whole30 um, meals. Let's go ahead and see if there's been any weight loss. I'm going to hit the pre-programmed um, my information of 538 for another couple days and there we go 242.8 and then it'll give you the um, this is kind of hard let me see if I can step off there we go it gives you all the BMI information and whatnot which we know that's pretty high as you can see, I did have a weight loss and I'm super, super happy about it. I have my notebook, so I'll look down here so I can make sure that I get all my numbers right. Um, when I started last Sunday, I was 246.4 and this, that is just our dog. He rings the bell when he has to go out. So, uh, so don't mind that noise. I always say this is YouTube, not Instagram. It isn't perfect. This is just my life. So anyways, I started out at 246.4 and then this morning I weighed in at 242.8, which gives a total weight loss of 3.6 pounds, which I'm super, super happy about. I think it's about two to three pounds that they say is a healthy weight loss, um, number and so I'm I'm happy with that. Um, I do want to kind of share with you just how my week went and um, how the whole 30 program is working for me. Um, actually I um, have found that I my cravings have gone down extreme. I don't have cravings actually. I mean it's I can be around all kinds of things because obviously I live with a, a family of four girls and whatnot and they're not on the program and I have found that I've been able to be okay. Um, I have found that I don't feel hungry as much as I have in the past that there were times that I was like okay you have to have breakfast you you need to have your lunch you need to have your dinner even though I did not necessarily feel extremely hungry for it and just a tip that I had found that I kind of did some research on is that true hunger actually is in the in the mouth and so you'll find that you're salivating you'll find that um, your mouth is where you'll feel true hunger is it, true hunger can be found and so just kind of listening to your body and I did find that a right around um, noon is when I would feel some of that true hunger and I say that because I actually did intermittent fasting so I actually ate from from a time frame of 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Now I never ate at 9 p.m. but I had that eight hour um, time frame to eat in and it works for me because I find that I'm not really a uh, I know breakfast is supposed to be the best meal of the day is what they say but you know I I, I found that I'm not hungry and I had a doctor told me tell me that you know what if you're not hungry then don't eat and so that's I kind of follow that advice and so one to eight was a good time frame for me because that's where I find that I feel the need to eat so to be able to put my calories there I think it was just awesome for me so um, some of the what I would do is I'd wake up and I would have a hot lemon water and that would just be just enough I came to just love it it was just I loved it and so I would have that and right around noon is when I would feel that hunger. And so I would just have like a sparkling water and just say, hey, you got a, an hour to hang on. I actually work for, during that time. So that actually was a quite a bit of distraction too. And then some of the meals that I had this week, you might see them in the last um, grocery haul video. And then you might see some coming up in this next grocery haul. So be sure to, to check that out when that posts on Wednesday. But we had egg roll in a bowl and that was a great recipe. It was delicious. Um, one night I made breakfast for the family and we had roasted potatoes and scrambled eggs and I made sausage for them and I just ate the eggs and the potatoes and then I had spaghetti squash with rails a rabiata I'm not sure how you say it sauce it's a spicy marinara it is delicious and then I had the chicken sausage that um, in my first grocery haul I wasn't sure if it was whole 30 approved and it is and so I had that and then one night we had um 
um, chili. Well, I made chili tonight. And so um, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of meals. Like, Lashonda, you're missing some. Well, a lot of times there was extra. So I would have the spaghetti squash a couple of nights and have it for lunch. I will do the same thing with the chili, the egg roll in the bowl. I had salad, um, chicken, chicken, grilled chicken on salad. So just some of those things. So I am eating, you know, those three meals a day. And, um, but I'm just eating kind of, um, what do you call it? Um, leftovers. So, and that's been wonderful for me. They encourage you not to snack if you can keep from snacking, but if you do, you know, nuts were are an idea, maybe some fruit, and they do want to make sure that you keep the fruit at a, a minimum um, just to kind of curtail some of the sugar, even though it's natural. So, Let's see, I did not do any exercise this week whatsoever. I kind of wanted to take it slow, take one thing at a time, not to overwhelm myself. And I think I'll probably follow that same thing this week too. Maybe week three, I'll bring in a day or two of exercise um, and week four and so forth. I just want to make sure that I have it down so that I don't become overwhelmed um, with it. And I'm just going to end with one particular scripture, or scripture, excuse me, one particular um, quote um, that um, just really kind of encouraged me. It says, we won't be distracted by comparison if we are captivated with purpose. And I think that's an awesome, awesome quote because I have lost weight and gained weight and, and lost weight again. And my first time, first real journey of losing weight, I lost eight pounds in one week. And so, you know, initially it's kind of like, mm. but I was like, you know what? I am going to be happy with the 3.6 pounds, even if it was one, because my purpose is to become a better me and I am going to continue to move. And I even said before, it may take uh, some time, but I am going to become the best version of me. So just don't get distracted by comparison. If your friend lost five, pounds and you lost three that's okay your purpose is not to be better than that person your purpose your purpose is to be the best version of you so I just want to encourage you with that and that because it encouraged me so I hope you have a good week I plan to have a good week and I will see you on Wednesday with my week two grocery haul and I'll see you next Sunday with my week two um, weight loss stats